Hi, so this is continuing the second lesson of the um, straight line graph part. So it says, is the quadrilateral with those vertices a parallelogram? So you remember from school that a parallelogram has two sets of parallels. So let's have a little picture then. So I've got A is minus 3, 1. Minus 3, minus 1, sorry. B is minus 2, minus 4. So it's right and below. Then let's have this one here for C, which is 2, 1. And D, which is 1, 4. So I'll try and make it look like a parallel graph for that. Just to give me an idea of what I'm working with. You remember, you go around the letters in the order in which you see them. So A, B, C, D. Right then, so here's our plan. If it's a parallelogram, um, the gradient from A to D will be the same as the gradient from B to C. So work them out first. Then work out the gradients from A to B, not B to A, and the gradients from D to C. See if they're the same, and then you want your conclusion. So what we're doing first, M, A to D. So the change going up is 5, the change going across is 4. Let's have a look at B to C. So the B to C, the change going up is 5, the change going across is 4. How miraculous. Let's go from A to B. So the change going down is minus 3. The change going across is 1. The gradient from D to C, so the change going down is 3. And the change going across is minus 1. There you go. So look, we've got them showing us the same. So let's have a little conclusion. So as M from A to D equals M from B to C, and M from A to B is equal to M from D to C. Therefore, A, B, C, and D are a parallelogram. There. So it says, uh, show that it is not a square or a rectangle. If it said show it was a square or a rectangle, we'd look at length. But if it's not a square or a rectangle, we want to see what the angle is. So we want to see, we can check it for one corner. That's all we need to do. We just want to make sure see if a, uh, a corner is perpendicular. Perp. So let's have a look at the gradient between A, B, and the gradient between B, C. So the gradient from A to B is 5 over 4. The gradient from B to C is minus 3. That equals minus 15 over 4. So as M, A, B times M, B, C is not, oops, dodgy, dodgy not equals 2 sign there, sorry. It's not equal to minus 1. The angle at B is not a right angle, therefore it is not a square or a rectangle. You notice once again I've written the um, written the whole thing down. Right, last one there. Oh, that's all right. Uh, so I might need to do a separate little mini vid for this as well, because it's quite a big, um, quite, oh, I don't know if you can see that on your screen from someone from my class. Right, well, I like you put a love and then change it. I don't know if you can see that actually on your screen recorder, that pop up then. Right, I'm going to stop it now. It's only on five minutes, but I need more than five minutes to do this exam.